All right, so I'm on the test server here, and we're going to be taking a look at the new weapon, Tetra Rifle. So here are the stats right here. Uh, it's basically a legendary long arm, has four shots, except the last shot deals a lot of extra damage if you hit all the previous shots. That type of damage mechanic is kind of interesting, but it doesn't really fit a sniper necessarily. And also, just classically, weapons that follow this type of burst damage pattern don't tend to do very well. Anyway, a few things to kind of note about this. The reload is incredibly short. Shorter than most close quarters weapons, I think. And the damage has no fall off whatsoever, so it does not do more damage close up or more damage further away. As well as, there is a 15% shield pierce. This damage multiplier is the percent extra damage that your last shot deals per shot that you hit. So, if you only hit one shot, then your last shot does two and a half times more damage. If you hit two shots, then your last shot does five times more damage. If you hit all three previous shots, then it'll do 7.5 times more damage, which is quite a bit. In terms of implants, this thing has a damage reload and range, like most things do. Anyway, yeah, we're going to be trying this on a few of just like the classic sniper mechs, along with Cheetah, just because... Okay, so this is not necessarily a great sniper map, just in general, but it's fine. I don't have a lot of experience with this weapon. I've been trying not to use it too much, just so I can get a better first impression, but I have used it a little bit, and it seems interesting. See, that's an issue I've been getting a lot. I don't know what that is when the last shot just does no damage, basically. Did I hit his mod or something? Is that what happened? There we go. Okay, he's dead. I'm probably... Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm gonna be dead, though. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah. It's the Galvanical. So because, because the last shot has a damage multiplier, that counts as extra damage, which means I'm screwed. All right, here's an actual sniper map. I'm using on Eclipse, and yeah. So, what I learned from the last match is that, unfortunately, in a lot of cases, your last shot's gonna be mostly blocked by a Galvanic Hole. There is a 15% shield pierce, and I'm pretty sure that does actually go through the galvanical, which is technically a shield. But uh, that's 15%. Once again, it's not very much. Like, it's... it's yeah, it's not <laughs> an upset. That last shot's pretty good damage, though. So, I mean, like all other snipers, yeah. Very much suffers against mods. Good damage, but just not the best. And I'm not sure if I like that or if I don't like that. Because, like, from, from one perspective, yeah, obviously you don't want it to be crap, but from another perspective, I kind of also don't want it to s completely outshine all other sniper weapons. And I'm not really sure that it does at the moment. You saw I did a little bit of damage to the HP while also taking off the Galvanical, so the Shield Pierce is definitely punching through. Unfortunately, maybe if I, yeah, fire one at a time to break that Galvanical. Alright, this... Well, that was wasted. Alright, we have it on Lace Swing now. What's interesting about the really quick reload is that like it makes it a pretty decent brawler weapon better than howler in my personal opinion not that i think howler's any good one to break his mod two to kill him okay there we go okay 
Okay, kill him. Yeah, the problem with this is that, like, you need to be able to hit all of your previous shots in order to do good damage. Which is not always easy, but at least it rewards good aim. Excuse you. There you go. Yo. Over. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, the problem with this, I would, I would say my biggest misgiving is that, yeah, the last shot does a lot of damage, but the first shots do basically nothing. Crap. Like the first three, the first three shots are basically useless. And it's basic, it, it, it's kind of what Graviton is. And that's not great. Like, you see that 15,000? 15,000 on the regular shots is, like, that's not really anything. Yeah, I have to spend one to get his. There we go. This dude really have to stagger the shots. I think before I didn't really realize that Galvanic Hole would stop the last shot. So it wasn't, ow, it wasn't staggering them. All right, so we have it on Hemlock now. Uh, my theory is that possibly we can lock one guy down and then fire him at another guy to kind of trigger it or to, or to build up the build up the damage boost, I should say, and then fire the, damage, the boosted damage at somebody else. Or possibly my RPM is high enough to just get them from that. Actually, it might be. Especially if I had a duration implant on there, I'd be chilling. So that might actually be a pretty solid way to do this. Let me just see what I can do against this guy. Really? My name and kill. Oh, God, whatever. Seems kind of sus, but. Uh oh. Hi. Please don't. Come on. Yeah, see, promise. Yep. Again, it's the same issue that Graviton Beam has. Where you have to be hitting all of your other shots in order for it to be doing anything. And that's just not a great system most of the time. The damage is good, but practicality is not really. Come on, you little nerd. Oh, hi. I was talking to your friend, by the way. Not you. Uh oh. Yeah, that's not that common. <clears throat> Ow. Bruh. I've got like 5 HP. Okay. I think I can charge it on a resurrecting death walker which is interesting which you cannot do though is you can't charge it on a aegis dome even though you're dealing damage to the aegis dome it does not actually count all right so now for the ultimate test which of course is orion uh ryan is the sniper mech of sniper mechs Oop. if i could aim be great Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to matter that much. The extra shield pierce from the ability is really going to help me out here. But, you know, only so much, right? I marked that guy. This dude, yeah. See, the problem is, the problem is the galvanic hole. Honestly, that's the big thing. If it weren't for galvanic hole, this thing would probably be really good. It would probably like one mag a lot of things. And so maybe it would one mag a lot of things if you don't deal with galvanic hole super often. But if you do, then you're kind of screwed. Oh, right. What is this? 
can't even escape it on test server. All right, so yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on Tetra Rifle. Um, maybe I'll end up liking it more or less when it hits the live server, I'm not really sure. I do plan on using it a bit when it comes into the game. I'll probably like do a stream or something. I do that pretty often. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Otherwise, that will be it for me. Appreciate y'all. Take care.